first time in Kalamazoo, um, first time at this festival. It's, it's just beautiful and we got a great night for it. I'm really looking forward to this. Lots of blues artists come to this festival. It seems to be getting a bigger and bigger following, especially yeah. as you go into the nighttime atmosphere. You know, talk about maybe why that might be. Any ideas? Well, it's it, it, it's been going for a while now, and uh, what's kind of important to a to a performer is, and it, it, not all festivals are as well organized as, as these, and it's just it's just a, you know it's, it has a relaxed at, atmosphere, but at the same time. You know, it's it's organized, and that's how you can be relaxed because all of the business is taken care of. You know where you're supposed to go. You got people to greet you that make sure that you get your gear when you need to. You have security to make sure that your gear is secure. Uh, warm, friendly people, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You can just relax, talk music, talk shows, talk other pe performers that we know and run into, and probably get a little blues gossip in from time to time too. And who knows, somebody says the right thing, you might end up getting the idea for a new song too, so. Tell me about that, I mean, tell me what goes into uh, making music for you and you know, all the different songs that you work with. Well, uh, well you know, as, as a songwriter, I um, always got my ear out for something, whether it's a, something that I hear that might be have a musical, uh, in, you know, something inspiring me musically or rhythmically or um, more of the time than anything else, it's, it's lyrical. Somebody will say something that's just a little bit odd, you know? It's a, a little bit a little bit off there. Uh, it gets my attention, I go, yeah, yeah. You know, I try to sometimes uh, think about what's happened to me in my life and how that, what they said might be applied into a story format. Very simple thing, uh, I was talking to my lady and uh, she said, you're not listening to me. And I said, what do you mean I'm not listening? She said, you're not listening to you. And she goes, I know. I know, you're hearing every word I say, it only just don't look that way. And I go, oh, that's great. So, hence the song. You know, I'm hearing every word you say. Don't ever think that I'm not listening, it only just looks that way. Little things like that. Or down in uh, Clarksdale, Mississippi, there's, it's a kind of a nice quiet lifestyle down there. And everybody takes things real slow. Sometimes real, a little too slow. And uh, my friend down there, he owns a, a little store and He's got something you enter that when you go up at the cash register, you see right away, it's just let it happen. And uh, that's an inspiration. There's a song for that one too, so. So tell me, you know, you're talking about the different ways that you write music and put it all together, but why blues? Why did you decide to do blues? Is it something that started when you were young? Well, there's a, there's a lot of reasons for that that have come and gone throughout my life. I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a real young man. Um, a middle-aged man, so, but I've been around music for a long time. My first entry to the blues was through my dad. My dad listened to Howlin' Wolf music, and I used to hear that when I was a kid. Of course, my father listened to it in a funny way. He thought Howlin' Wolf was just, just outrageous in some of the songs he'd write, because the subject matter he was writing about was not exactly what the words that were there, the double entendre thing. So there was that, and then I was also influenced by the blues. Uh, British cats in the, in the 60s and all that but um, mostly I've always written songs that tell stories and that's what blues music is all about is telling stories so I really have always been drawn to that I've come over you know done blues walked away from it done blues walked away from it. I've been doing blues for the last 25 26 years would you, would you call the following a cult following or is it more than that I mean it seems like this festival and I've been to a few other they always have tremendous crowds once the nighttime comes around and you know people who may like blues may just like music I mean what do you think that is there's there's different kinds of blues audiences there are people that really know the blues um, and know the traditions and the history and the players and all that and they want to be with like-minded people and they, they want to hear that music, they want to hear the in new innovations that have come along with that. There and there are people that just love music and love roots music and blues is one of those forms. They love that. And then there are people, the walk-ups, you know, they have no idea. And it's like, oh, I like blues. And I don't know who it was that said that there's a lot of people out there that love the blues. It's just some of them don't know it yet. So those are those folks too. So 